Hey, two viewers, TJ Pyramid here with another video coming at you. So, uh, yeah, you go to buy something used, and uh, it's missing the the slip case, the slip case, the slip cover. It's me. I kept it. So yeah, went through a box today and found a bunch of old slip covers of movies I got rid of because they were either just terrible. I upgraded to Blu-ray. Or I really just didn't want the DVD anymore. I wanted to trade it in to get something better. Um, there's some things I have regrets that I got rid of. The last thing I show will probably be the biggest thing I regret. Um, which I'm not actually sure I got rid of it or I just lost it somewhere. Weird. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Just a bunch of random ass slip covers. Um, so let's just go ahead and grab a handful and... Uh, see what happens. Okay. Big Est Spider. Because as you know, I uh, took this back, but I kept the slipcase. And uh, yeah, upgraded to the Blu-ray. Well worth the upgrade. Uh, Oblivion. I originally bought it, but then I uh, decided I didn't want it for that price. I was going to wait for a better price. And of course, I got it for a better price. And uh, so yeah, just got a random extra one here. Uh, the collection I actually just upgraded this to Blu-ray at Walmart because the uh, Blu-ray was only like seven eighty-eight. So uh, yeah, Tartan Asia Extreme. Back when I used to collect them, uh, this is the red shoes. This is the one that started me on the downhill path. Um, I think this is a. I just don't like this movie, and uh, this is the first one that I had bought from Tartan Asia Extreme where after this each uh, subsequent release just got worse and worse in my opinion so I stopped collecting them. Uh, this was a four pack of films I really just wish we didn't get rid of but uh, we did. We got uh, some of them back. The uh, Studio Classics, Black Widow, Call North Side, 777, Dangerous Crossing, and Lore. We got Lore back because there's been some prices in it but uh, we got a good deal on this. I'm not sure why we ever got rid of it. Uh, the Transporter 2, uh, with her, Kate Nauta, something like that, but, uh, yeah, she lived here in, uh, Salem, went to school here and stuff, so, hey, if you don't know, now you know. Uh, I think I upgraded to the, I have no idea, so, yeah. Uh, this is another one, actually, this is a really good film, but I just decided to, uh, get rid of it, actually part of a, uh, trilogy. Which I have the other box of the trilogy down here somewhere, but uh, yeah. Memento Mori, the uh, Wishing Stairs. It's part of the uh, Ghost School trilogy. I uh, kind of got tired of them. They just, uh, I don't know, they didn't hold my interest. I'll try to find the third one here. I think I have it in here somewhere. But I'm not sure that I do now. Eh, well, either way. Okay. Hatchet 2. I uh, really didn't like Hatchet 2. Um, really liked Hatchet 1. Uh, yeah, Hatchet 2 just didn't do nothing for me. Uh, Tropic Thunder. This is the uh, two disc director's cut. I got rid of this because I thought I was going to upgrade to the uh, Blu ray, but uh, it just never kind of happened. Funny film, though. Really good film. Uh, Sucker Punch, another one that I had originally bought and decided I'd wait for a better price, which, of course, I found. So I got the slipcase there. Uh, another Tartan Asia Extreme, Marabito. I believe this is getting an American remake. The Dictator, kind of hoping for another Borat, but unfortunately, uh, uh, Contraband actually just got this um, from the place where I get some free movies once in a while, the Senior Center. This was in the free rack. Uh, I never actually watched it. I just bought or uh, just picked it up to uh, get rid of it for credit. Uh, usually I like Takeshi McKay. Most of his stuff I do really enjoy, but this film to me was just long and really boring. 
so I had to ditch that. Um, two different versions of the Grudge. This is the PG-13 slipcase, and this is the unrated one. I do not like the PG-13 one. The rated one, or the unrated one, I don't mind so much. The Dead, actually upgraded to the Blu-ray. Really good zombie film. Jet Li Hero. Uh, this is another one that I got for free and decided I really didn't want it. Watched it. It was alright. Uh, so I figured I'd just go ahead and get rid of it for credit. G.I. Joe. Um, yeah, I just have the slipcase. Crank. Uh, upgraded to uh, the Blu-ray for Crank. Dodgeball. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, I bought this and uh, was hoping for more, but actually I was really let down because you have uh, Brian O'Halloran in this, you have Gunnar Hansen, David Naughton, Brutal Massacre, a comedy. No, not really. Ender's Game, Battle of the Damned. Of course, I had to keep this one because I got the Blu ray, and the Blu ray does not have the. Uh, Lenticular on it. Two hobo with the shotguns because it's that damn good. And I still have another one on the actual Blu ray. Your next. Still have another one on the Blu ray. Another Tartanasia Extreme Collector's Edition here Tetsuo the Iron Man. It just kind of went when I started getting rid of all my Tartanasia Extremes. Super bad. Before uh, Jonah Hill was annoying as hell. Kind of like Seth Rogen. Tokyo Zombie. Some fun stuff in this, but overall kind of a slow, boring film, really. I Some parts I liked, some parts I didn't. Great cover. Chillerama. Not a bad, uh, like, anthology type thing, but really there's only uh, one, really one good story in that. Uh, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Still have the uh, lobby cards in it, too. There's an Evil Extinction. Upgraded to the B Ray. Dario Argento, Pelts. Didn't really care for it. Ozzy Argento, Love Bites. No, Love Doesn't Bite. The Movie Bites. There's another Tartanasia Extreme, Bloody Reunion. Just didn't enjoy it. Heirloom. Just didn't enjoy it. White Noise. Uh, the trailer was better than the film. This is one I wish I actually still had. Um, not really sure if I got rid of this or something just happened to it, but a uh, city of violence. I am legend. No, Will Smith. You're not. Alfred Hitchcock's lifeboat. The black cat. Hostel. This is the Best Buy exclusive that came with the tattoo. I still have somewhere. The Resurrected Edition, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse. The free movie ticket to see Extinction. That's why I bought it, because it was cheaper than buying an actual ticket to the movie. Jennifer. Knocked up. Before Seth Rogen was annoying. Office Space. Love this film. Just kind of got lost in the shuffle. The Prestige. I like that one. Not a fan of uh, Hugh Jackman, though, really. Talladega Nights. Rest Stop. Featuring, uh, of course, in this one here, what's her name? Jamie Alexander. Yeah, who's gone on to uh, do bigger and better things. 
Uh, let's see, this bunch was uh, stuck together. Chronicles of Riddick upgraded to the Blu ray. Uh, here's the insert for Devil's Rejects. I was going to upgrade to the Blu ray, but the Blu ray does not have all the special features, so at some point. I'll have to buy that again. This is another Master of Horror I really liked. Uh, this is from uh, Larry Cohen. This is a really good one. Pick me up. Kind of wish I still had this again, too. I might pick that up again somewhere down the road. Dead and Breakfast, Lenticular Cover. Once again, an okay film. Some fun stuff, but overall disappointing. Uh, District 9, of course, I upgraded to the Blu ray. Here's the, uh, those have eyes, which used to be the blood pack, the squishy blood pack, and actually, I just actually rebought this again, so I can use this for the one I just rebought, and this used to have all the blood in it and stuff. Well, cool, I'm glad I found these. Ah, uh, Hostel Part 2. Just another good one here, Lucky McKee, Sick Girl, Angela Bettis, that was fun. Uh, here's actually The Devil's Rejects, it's uh, it's the one that came with The Devil's Rejects I had, it's the uh, Devil's Rejects exclusive uh, comic book. You can see some of the cool artwork there. So yeah, actually, I even forgot this was a... Uh, this was in the thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some more artwork in there. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. The Cabin Fever, the lenticular cover. Frozen. That was a fun film. I want to buy this on Blu-ray because you get an, uh, an extra audio commentary. Snakes on a Plane. American Psycho. Update upgraded to the uh, Blu-ray. Takeshi McKay's Imprint. Twas Alright for Takeshi McKay. This is a fun one here. I might pick this up again at some point. Dear Woman. That was enjoyable. There is Hatchet 1, which I will upgrade to the Blu-ray someday. And actually for Hatchet, I still have the, uh, the chapter selection, Sheet 2. Uh, here's the chapter, or the insert for American Psycho. Uh, there's the Director's Cut of Hostel. Shoot 'em Up. That's a really fun film. Have it on Blu-ray, I believe. And uh, hey, here's a Hills Have Eyes booklet and inside. Crazy. Broken, this is a pretty cool cover. And uh, the one I kind of wish I still had that I wish, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I got rid of it or it just got lost or what, but uh, Jeff Lieberman, who of course, Blue Sunshine and Squirm, uh, Satan's Little Helper, just Before Dawn, right here, the two-disc special edition, the slipcase, it's empty. I would love to have this film again. I really like this film. I'm not sure what happened to it, but hey, if I ever get it again, I got the slipcase. So there we go. Just a bunch of random slipcases from uh, stuff that's uh, gone and uh, some stuff that's gone that uh, may be picked up again now that I uh, think about the film. So uh, there we go comment down below. Let me know what slip cases you got laying around. I'm sure everybody has some. Uh, subscribe, spread the word, and cheers.